Good morning, children. Today, in polynomial chapter, we are going to study about third question. That is, obtain all other zeros of 3x to the power of 4 plus 6x cube minus 2x square minus 10x minus 5. If two of your zeros are square root of 5 by 3 and minus square root of 5 by 3. Children, here first we have to understand what are the given points here. Then what we have to find. That is very important. Now first we have to know that in this polynomial, what is the highest power of in this highest power in this polynomial? Degree of x. Here highest degree of x is 4. That means in this question we will get 4 zeros. We will get 4 zero, zeros. So, in this polynomial we will get 4 zeros. Now, but in question we are given 2 zeros. 2 of the zeros are given. Here 2 zeros are given. That is square root of 5 by 3 and minus square root of 5 by 3. Now, remaining 2 zeros we have to find here. Now, let us see here. First, P of x is equal to 3x to the power of 4 plus 6x to the power of 3 minus 2x square minus 10x minus 5. This is the question. So in this polynomial, now highest power, highest degree of x is 4. Okay, now x is equal to square root of 5 by 3 and minus x is equal to minus square root of 5 by 3. Okay. Now what we should do here? Now this you should take to LHS side. So it become x minus square root of 5 by 3 is equal to 0. Okay. Then similarly, here this you take to LHS and it become plus. So x plus square root of 5 by 3 is equal to 0. Okay. Now, you should take here these two x minus square root of 5 by 3. Then x plus square root of 5 by 3 is equal to 0. Then, this is in the form a minus b into a plus b. Now here, you know that what is the formula? a minus b into a plus b is equal to a square minus b square. a square minus b square. Here a minus b into a plus b is equal to a square minus b square. Now, here we should take up x minus root x square minus root 5 by 3 whole square. So here we should make it x square minus root of root 5 by 3 whole square. x square we should write as it is. This is equal to x square minus now 2 and this root symbol we have to cancel it. Then it become 5 by 3. That means x square minus 5 by 3 is a factor of is a factor of this polynomial. Which polynomial? 3 x to the power of 4 plus 6 x cube minus 2 x square minus 10 x minus 5. Okay. Now, to find the remaining two zeros of its polynomial, we should divide this equation by x square minus 5 by 3. Okay. Now, first you have to take here x square minus 5 by 3. Then, 3 x to the power of 4 plus 6 x cube minus 2 x square minus 10 x minus 5. Okay, now what we should do here, 
3 x to the power of 4 here is x square now what variable we should take what number we should take to find this we should divide here 3x to the power of 4 by first term that is x square x square now 3x to the power of 4 divided by x square answer is 3x square now no children here how we are getting 3x square here 3 x to the power of 4 can be written as x square into x square. Shall we write like this? Then, here denominator x square you should take as it is. Denominator x square, numerator 1 x square cancel it. So, here we are getting 3 x square. So, that 3 x square you should take here. 3 x square. Then multiply it here. 3 x square into x square it become 3 x to the power of 4. 3 x to the power of 4. Then, now, we multiplied first term, this term into first term. Again, we have to take this term into second term. We have to multiply. So, what we should do? Here, minus 5 by 3 in rough column, we should take first term. Minus 5 by 3 into 3 x square. Okay. Now, denominator 1, 3, numerator 1, 3, cancel it. Now, here, minus 5 into x square will become minus 5 x square. Minus 5 x square. Now, if you multiply these two, it become minus 5 x square. We are getting the answer. So, what is the power of x here? 2. That means, that answer we have to write below this third term. Because here x square is there. So, same variables. So, the same exponent should be there. So, we should write that answer below this third term. Understood? Now, that minus 5x square we should take here. Then, here minus put opposite signs. Okay. Then, here minus is there put plus sign. Now, cancel it plus 3x to the power of 4 minus 3x to the power of 4. Now, here Remaining second term is 6x cube. Now here minus 2x square plus 5x square. Now here both are opposite signs. When both are opposite signs, what we have to do? We have to subtract. That means 5 minus 2. 5 minus 2, 3. Then biggest number sign is positive. Plus 3x square minus 10x minus 5. Okay, then next same procedure we have to follow here. 6x cube divided by x square. 6x cube divided by x square. So what is the answer here children? 6x. So, so what we should do here? 6x we have to take here. Plus 6x. Okay, here 6x cube is there. 6x cube divided by x square. That means we got the 6x answer. So here we should take the 6x. Then multiply 6x into x square. It becomes 6x cube. Okay. Then second minus into plus it becomes minus. Okay. Then 6x into 5 by 3 we have to multiply. 6x into 5 by 3. Okay. 3 ones are 3 twos are. What is remaining here? 5, 2, 10 into x, 10x. 10x. So, minus into plus, plus you have to put minus. Then 10x. 10x means you have to write below the third term. Okay. Minus 10x. Now, put minus sign here. Opposite signs you have to put. Plus is there minus. Okay. The minus is there plus. So, this you cancel it. 3x square. 3x square. Now, minus 10x plus 10x get cancelled. What is remaining here? Minus 5u. Okay. What is remaining? Minus 5u. The next point, 3x square divided by x square. Here you should take 3x square divided by x square. So, what is the answer here? 3. So, children, here we should take a plus 3. Then multiply 3 into x square will become 3x square minus into plus will become minus. Now 5 by 3 into 3, 
5 by 3 into 3. Now denominator 1, 3, numerator 1, 3, cancel. Now what is remaining there? 5. So here we should take a 5. Then minus, minus here plus. Now plus 3x square minus 3x square get cancelled. Minus 5 plus 5 get cancelled. So remainder is 0. Now quotient what we got here 3x square plus 6x plus 3. So now we will take 3x square plus 6x plus 3 is equal to 0. Okay. Now, you can take 3 common here. Or you can multiply 3, 3 is a 9 and then you can find the factors. Already we studied in previous class. Now, I will take common here 3. x square plus 3, 2 is a 6 into x plus 3, 1 is a 3. Is equal to 0. Now you should take x square plus 2x plus 1 is equal to 0. Now middle term 2x is there. We have to find the factors. So x square plus 1x plus 1x. 1x plus 1x become 2x. Then plus 1 into 1 it become 1. You know how to find the factors. So, next point, 1 is equal to 0. The first two terms one group, last two terms second group. Now, children, in this first group, what is common here? So, here common is x. So, inside the bracket, we should take a x. x into x will become x square. Plus, now x into 1 will become 1x. Okay. Now, plus 1 here common Inside the bracket x plus 1 equal to 0. Now again here x plus 1 is common. So x plus 1, this you write one time, then again x plus 1 equal to 0. Now, now x plus 1 is equal to 0. Again this term x plus 1 is equal to 0. Then this you take to RH side, it become minus. So x is equal to minus 1. Again here this also same. x is equal to minus 1. Now here we got a 2, 0. Again remaining 2 zeros of that polynomial. So here, what are the zeros of this polynomial? And we got this is the solution. We got a remaining 2 zeros of this polynomial. Now how many zeros are there already here? Two zeros are given. Zeros of this polynomial are therefore zeros of its polynomials. Polynomials are two zeros are already given. Square root of five by three. Then minus square root of five by three. Now what we got here? Minus one again minus one. So here. We got four zeros of this polynomial. Why we got four zeros of this polynomial? Can you tell me? Because in this polynomial, highest degree of x, highest degree of x is four. Okay. So here we are getting four zeros of this polynomial. Now they told, they told to find two zeros, remaining two zeros. So already we got remaining two zeros of polynomial. Any doubt, children? Okay, thank you.